my name is Romantic and welcome back to another video on the channel. So today we're doing a bit of a different video. Recently I've been ill and I've run out of videos to edit that we've already filmed so I had to come up with something new. One of the ideas I had was doing a video about Chad Wildclair who is a YouTuber. And I found the Off The Pill podcast hosted by Niga Higa and it was with Chad Wildclair. He was a guest on it. And because I was ill in bed I spent a while just listening to my podcast and writing notes and here we are. So let's just get started. Who is Chad Wildclair and why am I making this video on him? Well, to get into that, first we need to look at the history. He joined YouTube in March of 2006 and uploaded his first video in September of 2006. It was a proposal to his girlfriend in the style of an iPhone commercial, and it was actually music. June 17th, 2004, I met a girl I couldn't ignore. And for the next few years, he didn't upload much, but when he did, he was uploading music parodies with his girlfriend, V, who is also a YouTuber. I'm messy and I know it. to be on the 31st of July 2011. He continued to make parodies and then he started a series called Crap where he took people's comments and made them into a parody of a song. All my friends are heathens cause they know Somebody stole my car radio And then he started to do roasts, starting with one of his friends actually, Matthias. Um, so I now realise the first diss track he did was the Rice Gum diss track? But I just didn't see that when I was researching, so yeah, Rice Gum and then Matthias. I actually did a video on Matthias and all his channels, which you can watch by clicking up there. But it's quite outdated, so I might do another one soon. He continued just to make more parodies and like with the crap style. And he was also doing some videos with Matthias, like dollar store videos. And videos about problems that were currently happening with YouTube. On the 28th of September 2016, he uploaded a parody of the popular at the time, Pen Pineapple or Apple Pen song. And this video currently at the time of writing has 86 million views, making it his most popular video. Over the next half a year or so, he continued to do more roasts. His roasts included PewDiePie, Markiplier, Leafy, Jacksepticeye, Casey Neistat, Smosh, Dancy DM, Niga Higa, and this is where his channel began to change. On the 16th of March 2017, Jad Wildclair moved a video with Matthias to get more dollar store items. And this may not seem like much, but his next video was a video where he looked at vending machine items in his normal video style. He did his final dish track on Guava Juice on the 22nd of March 2017. And in my opinion, this is when he just started to just make worse videos. He's on to do some toy videos, whether well, a couple of random videos with like food hacks and, I don't know, like piano tricks or something. He started the Weapons In Real Life Challenge in which he tested out weapons from different things such as WWE, Avengers, Deadpool and of course fidget spinners. He tested out his fruit and often had sponsorships with a fruit ninja app. And these videos would get between 1 and 5 million views. At this point I kind of lost interest in him. I'd still watch his videos occasionally but honestly I just kind of lost interest in these videos. So I just didn't really enjoy them. One video in particular that did catch my eye is when he ran over his neighbour's cars with a tank. <laughs> stage and they got permission but it is still quite a cool concept and I did enjoy that video and that video did get 7 million views. He started doing other challenge videos things like box forts and mystery boxes and this is when he started the kind of series that's running on his channel now. I don't know exactly how it went but he found a safe in a tunnel in his house and then he found a Tesla key and a map or something and then he kind of just ended up chasing these clues and finding a hacker group called Project Zorgo and this is obviously like made up by him but this is when this theory started but he still kept doing challenge videos so while going through the storyline he was doing challenges based around the storyline and that pretty much leads us to where we are today he stopped making original music and he no longer lists other socials in the description so he's definitely trying to distance himself from anything that isn't his current hacker series so let's go take a look at Chad's video shall we Okay, so I'm here on Chad's channel. His profile picture hasn't really changed for the last year. He had a different one when he was doing music and ninja weapons, but now it's just his face. And his banner is just an advertisement for his app, which we will look at later in the video. So we're just going to have a quick look at some of these videos, and all the titles seem to be quite similar. Spying on PZ9 for name reveal, pretending to be friend hacker for 24 hours in real life challenge. Chad Roll Clay and Stephen Chow versus hackers in real life ninja battle royale for 24 hours challenge. Hacker girl name reveal, PZ4 trapped in prison by Project Zorgo. We escape prison via underground tunnel, V and hacker girl, PZ4 trapped by Project Zorgo. Last leaf circle wins $10,000 safe house from Project Zorgo hacker. So there does seem to have challenge in the title, and all these videos seem to be centred around the challenge. The thing is, if they're so concentrating on trying to stop these hackers, why would they waste their time doing a bunch of point 
pointless challenges. And some of these videos aren't even challenges, can I just point out. But this one, it's a ninja battle royale, but it lasts 24 hours? I don't think so. Also, all these videos seem to have a hefty amount of mid rolls. This 60 minute video has about 6 mid rolls, which I say that's well, that's like maximum for a 60 minute video. And it all seem to be around that time point 20 minutes, 16 minutes, 16 minutes, 16 minutes, 16. They all seem to be 16 minutes for some reason. And the descriptions, it's just like a long paragraph about what happened last time. It all just seems to be very unrelated. And this is quite interesting. So in the description it says, watch my friend's awesome videos, then it lists some popular YouTubers, Mr. Beast, T Merge, Preston. But the thing is, are they really your friends? Have you really ever spoken to them properly? Do you think they would call you friends? I mean maybe like T Merge or something, but Mr. Beast, eh. It seems like like it like in the tags it has Mr. Beast, Morgs, and these videos have nothing to do with either of those people. So I'm pretty sure they're just putting there just so they would come up if you type those keywords in. Now in this video, you can see it says they're using a spy pen. Now I own a spy pen and it shoots pretty low quality 1080p videos. But this is a very high quality 1080p 60fps. So I'm pretty sure it isn't a pen, in which case it's a camera, in which case it would be painfully uh, obvious that you're, you, you're filming. And now like I mentioned earlier, they have an app. So let's go check that app out, shall we? <sighs> I did not like being on top of that roof. So we've downloaded the app here. Let's just give it, open it. Oh, it's very loud. Spy Ninja Network. Initializing. What is up, Spy Ninja? Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Spy Ninja, Ninja Network. Network. Is that it? Hey, Spy Ninja, it's Shannon V. Welcome to the Spy Ninja Network. Hey Spy Ninja, Project Zorgal is attempting to put a virus on this Spy Ninja Network tool. So we need your help every time you see a virus on one of our circuits, smash it with your finger. Oh, so we tap it when it gets above the virus. Okay, I'm gonna boss this. You ready? Boom! Boom, 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 boom. I'm such a boss at this, guys. Oh no, there's two now. Do what? I'm gonna, guys, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna do great. You ready? 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 Back. One and back. Oh, and then it sends me back the other way. Oh, fuck's sake! This, is, this should be like so easy. You are no longer a beginner. You are now officially a white belt. Congratulations. Yeah. yeah. I leveled up. To their credit, the app is quite well made. Like, unlike their videos, it, it actually looks quite nice and it all functions correctly. Oh, there's ads. I've got a clue. I have no idea what that is. Well, why have you got it the wrong way up? Welcome to Mind Shield, Spy Ninjas. As you know, Project Zergo has that mind control device. In your system. Yeah, they put it on me, they put it on you, they put it on Daniel. It makes your memory really foggy. So we need to train and improve your memory. So Project Zergo can't have your mind. Let's do it. Oh, so it's one of those things you have to like remember the order and then tap it. I'm just gonna leave this game because I get it, okay. It won't let me do anything because it's like, it keeps telling me to do something. I can't like look at the app on my own. You ready for this? Uh, ah! Wait, it's timed! Wait, what? No! Wait, what? Oh, scam! Well, that was their app! I'm going to leave this there and we're going to go have a look at their merch store. So here on their website, chadv.com, got join. Sign up today to join and receive your icon starter kit plus new puzzles every month. There seems to be some sort of like monthly box thing. Like box and puzzles and exclusive ones to Chadv fans every month. Challenge them to flex their ninja skills and mine solve all kinds of mystery. We're just going to skip past this and we're going to go to the merch store, shop.chadandree.com. Uh, the shop, it does look quite nice, I'll be honest. So if we have a look at what is available on the store. So you've got the Spy Essentials Kit. Binoculars, uh, battery-free flashlight, uh, lightweight compass clip, Chadwell clay branded sweatband. Now I could have bought it so we could look at it for the video, but I don't have that much money. I, okay, I'm, I'm not spending, what is it, like, 23 quid plus shipping to get this. So I wish you were at the beginning of July, so I'm not waiting that long. Uh, t shirts, hoodie, pillowcase, Shadow backpack, Ninjas Unite, uh, storage panel, like a pencil case. Cap looks quite nice, but this Bum Jake cap is much better. So, to be nice to them, the merch isn't actually that bad. They've come up with some things that you wouldn't normally see on a merch store, like the Spy Essentials kit. I'll give them that. It's all actually reasonably priced, like uh, 17 quid for a t-shirt. While we are here on the laptop, let's have a look at the Project Zorgo channel. Yes, the hackers that are trying to hack every YouTuber on YouTube have their own YouTube channel. 
was only one million subscribers, the Project Zorgo YouTube channel serves as a place for Project Zorgo to update their members on what's going on. The description says we are the YouTube hack group Project Zorgo. We believe YouTube has become too powerful and is a threat to the traditional media. Phase 1 of our plan is to use the YouTube trending page and promote unpopular videos from television networks. Phase 2 is to stop popular YouTuber channels and prevent them from gaining more subscribers. But what I want to know, if there's some big hacker group, why would they be broadcasting all of their like plans onto a public YouTube channel? Let's just click on this one. Project Zorgo Virus to take control. Project Zorgo Virus to take control of YouTube hidden inside our underground tunnel vaults. Notice the two long titles. What does that remind you of? Let's look at this description. We will soon have control of these. We will soon have control of these PG entertainment, family-friendly comedy videos for kids in 2019. Those are the same key words that are in Chad and V's videos. And this is this is my favourite bit of this whole channel. Be like Project Zorgo and use royalty-free background music from Epidemic Sound. You can use their music in your videos by clicking here. This hacker group is trying to stop YouTubers. It's telling people to go to a website where you can get music to use in your YouTube videos. Something doesn't add up here, does it? Look, at the end of the day, I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with these channels. It's fun, lighthearted comedy and it's obviously meant for kids. The reason I made this video isn't because I don't like Chad and V or I think their content is really bad. But I was watching Chad and V's content when they were making music videos and their content was so much better than what they're making now. They can do so much better. I don't know why they're doing this stuff. It is, it's probably meant, as mentioned in the Octopill podcast, just to keep up with the trends and update their channel based on what's popular. Your music videos were doing quite well, with Pen Pineapple Apple Pen sitting on 86 million views. At the end of the day, they're not going to see this video. But if they do, why? Just why? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe by clicking the icon in the corner up there. Also, go check out another video right there, it's really awesome, you'll definitely enjoy it. Also, make sure to follow me on all my social medias, especially Instagram, the links will be in the description. Apart from that, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!